And go ahead, Britt. Okay, well, thank you guys for hopping on first. If you were hopping on and heard me, we're going to try and keep this short and sweet to 15 minutes because we want to value your time. And many of you might be like me, and this is the time you're working your business. So, um, want to keep this short and respectful, um, but also give you something to think about. And so, when we were discussing what we wanted to talk about tonight, um, I had mentioned to Meg, let's talk to them about meeting people where they are at. Because do we want you to hit Success Club? Absolutely. I think it's a, a great foundation for your business. And it's not just that it's hitting the number, it's providing them with the best package, the best tools to get started on their program. It's how most of you probably all got started. It's how I got started. I went blind into Shakeology. I've never had it before. Um, but not everyone can afford a $220 challenge pack. Not everyone is super stoked to try Shakeology right off the bat. Um, not everyone's excited to try the performance line. Not everyone is at that point in their journey yet. So I know on that um, thread that Meg asked like about questions and a lot of their, your guys' questions were how to rebuttal the objections that you're getting. And so I was just telling Meg, I think tomorrow I'll go in and answer those questions individually or I'll go live and answer them individually um, to give them the attention that they deserve. But in a nutshell, sometimes it comes down to asking more questions and when we hear an objection, especially a financial objection, I still to this day will kind of freeze because like finances are a very personal thing. And I find in my niche that a lot of women are stay at home moms. And so they feel guilty for taking the money from their husband. Um, I am not one of them. <laughs> I have no problem spending that money. Um, but I want to be respectful of their marriage. I want to be respectful of their finances. So when I get those financial objections, it's hard um, to look at them and say, well, you should just save or you should just talk to your husband, um, you know, in this way. And so usually what I say to them is, you know what, absolutely. I think it's so important that your husband is supportive and on board with you doing this because it's going to make it so much more fun for you and you're going to be more committed when he's on board. Is there a package other than this, I do a lot of two mindset, 220 package that would fit your budget? What do you think about just starting with the base kit to get started? And let them know, you guys, that, that does so much for them is one, it gives them another option. Like it, it's not this or nothing. Um, it lets them know that you are not in this for the most expensive package. You want to help them. And if that, if helping them starts with that base kit, maybe it's even Beachbody on demand. Um, you know, that's something that I do ask now that I say that like, which part of your health journey is the hardest for you to stick to? If it's nutrition, let's just start with the base kit of to be mindset. If it's workouts, let's start with Beachbody On Demand because both of them, you guys, you can always upgrade them to a challenge pack or in you know five weeks, four weeks, six months, the challenge pack will always be on the table, okay? But what you're doing is you're building that relationship, you're building that trust, and they're also, if their objection is money or husband or just not quite ready to go all in at that cost yet, um, they're starting to show their spouse and themselves that they can do something. Sometimes they look at that challenge pack and it's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get workouts, nutrition, and I have to start a shake. That's three things that I'm starting right now. So often when you get that objection, it's not always about finances. It's not always about not being ready or not wanting to. It is more about them just being hesitant to start and to commit to themselves and as moms to spend that amount of money on something that they're struggling with. Like I have a hard time going and spending a lot of money on makeup because I don't use a lot of makeup. I'm not comfortable with makeup, but if I had to go to work every day and I had to put on a fresh face and I went to fancy events, I would probably spend more money on something I was going to use and felt confident to use. And does that make sense? Like, I hope that analogy makes sense. Like it's foreign to them. So sometimes people have to like tip their toe in the water. And so we as coaches, especially when you're starting out as new coaches, need to just meet them where they are at. 
we have a one-stop shop option, but not everyone is looking for that right off the bat. And I think it's incredibly crucial for you guys as new coaches to build your confidence and, and not hear that as a no, but to see how you can help them grow through this process. I almost love it when someone starts with a base kit of to be mindset or a beach body on demand. One of my top coaches started with just 21 day fix extreme DVDs. Now she's one of my diamond coaches. And so what I do, if they purchase a base kit or just beach body on demand, I have, um, one time a month, I order Shakeology packets or performance line packets. So some energize, some hydrate and Shakeology is always lying around my house. So if they do a base kit or they do a, um, beach body on demand, I send them like a packet of Energize and two packets of Shakeology. Hey, I'm so excited. You are joining us in this journey. I can't wait for you to get started on XYZ program. I know you were hesitant to try Shakeology, so I thought I'd drop in a couple packets that you can try and maybe one of these flavors will fit for you. Like however you want to do it. But this again, just lets them know that like, hey, I heard you, I hear you. I'm not leaving you hanging. Here's something to help you get started. And usually they will order one of the two. Like I have one person in my entire life tell me that they didn't like Energize. I'm like two people. And I, I still, I'm like, how are you my person? Like this doesn't make sense. But because I like live off of it. But they genuinely love it. They appreciate the gesture. And when someone um, even does a challenge pack with me, I send them like a little goodie bag, um, uh, an Energize, a Beach Bar, and one thing, uh, another flavor of Shakeology for them to try. And what that does, you guys, is it just gets more consumables in their hands. So they can try Beach Bars and, um, you know, they're like, oh, I, I, I can try these. I like them. And then they'll order or ask me how to order. Um, Yes, exactly, Shana. Being doing the samples, like I just want to be there for you. And I hope that if you're one of my new coaches and you're listening, like you got that feel from me. Like, not everyone is ready to jump in. And I think so often, like we as your leaders want you to hit success club. We want you to feel like you are successful, but don't ever discount helping somebody where they are at because that is huge. The fact that they spent a hundred dollars on themselves might be like earth shattering in their world and then just love on them and then plug them. I get this question a lot. Yes. If someone purchased a base kit or beach body on demand for me, they go right into my challenge groups for the first time in a very long time. I'm running a group at the end of the month that has to have a product. I have a few people not happy with me, but I think it's important. I believe in them and it's my business, but generally they are allowed in any community group that I have. And what tends to happen is they see that other people are using energize and recover and hydrate. Other people love Shakeology and they will start to try that. They will kind of open their mind to, okay, maybe it's not just her experiencing the same thing. Um, I had a, a post in one of my groups from one of my two mindset clients and she was like, you guys, I get hungry in the afternoon. What do you do? And like seven of us all listed Shakeology, Shakeology, Shakeology at 3 p.m., Shakeology at 3 p.m., Shakeology at 3 p.m. And I was like, yes, you have missed the Shakeology at 3 p.m. boat. Like we all do it. Most of my clients do it in the afternoon. We have our big breakfast, big lunch, and then a, that Shakeology bridges that gap when we're dealing with kids, making dinner, but we're starving and we reach for jelly beans. So, um, Seeing them and other people watching that helps them see that it's not just you seeing results and feeling the benefits of the products that you are encouraging them to add into to see results. Um, and then ask them questions. Hey, why is it like, oh, it's not the right time. Why is now not the right time? You know, you reach out to me, you shared that you were excited to lose 10 pounds or five pounds or that you just don't feel good what changed? Why is now not the right time? And I, I don't think it's bad to ask people that, especially if they like commented on a post to you that said, yeah, I'm interested in details. Like clearly something in their mind is like, I need to do something. So as, as hard as it is to invite, I think it's sometimes harder to ask them why they're saying no and to really get to, and we've heard this a lot, get to the root of their no, because it's not no to you it's often them not ready to say yes to themselves. And 
we can kind of nicely and respectfully peel back that and make them think about it. Now you might hear some trainings where people get a little harsh and like really nail into some people, but I just can't function that way. I would probably block somebody if they all cut off my business like that. Um, so just, Hey, you know, you came to me. I totally respect that now is not a good time. I'm just curious what changed your mind or did something happen? Did something come up? Um, was this not a right program for you? Um, don't hesitate to ask that question and then they'll respond hopefully you know and give you a little bit more and be like okay i totally respect that i i'm in your corner would you mind if i follow up with you next month or um if price is the objection and you know sometimes we do a flash sale or sometimes beachbody will announce their sale hey if if we have a sale on this next month or within the next two or three months would you like me to connect with you and, and just offer that and offer that invitation ahead of time. That way, when Beachbody runs another special on to be mindset or, you know, the transform 20 that's going on, like you can message them in April and say, Hey, the promotion's almost done. I know that it wasn't a good time then. Like you kind of open that door to come back to them and, um, and, and, and they're inviting you to come back. So kind of got to peel back and ask a few more questions. Um, and, and when the price objection, I think it depends on the, the kit. Um, but I have done this in the past and I usually get a, a, an okay response is, you know, I'm, I'm blanking. I'm totally a Mexico, which I can't do 220 divided by 30. If somebody wants to do that for me, that'd be great. <laughs> but math is not our forte on this team. So we, um, I think with the, the 160 challenge bag, it was like $4 and 30 cents a day. So if someone says like, oh, I can't afford that. I say, hey, I know up front it sounds like a bit of money, but when you break it down, it's about $4.30 a day. So you're getting a nutrition plan. You're getting me as your coach. You're getting the community. You're getting one meal, which is cheaper than a Starbucks shake and, or drink, and you're getting your workout. Like when you really break it down, you're, it's, it's really an amazing deal. And sometimes people see that breakdown and they kind of wrap their mind around it. And I always mention Starbucks because nine out of 10 people drink Starbucks. Um, that's just my own statistic, but, um, they can kind of see how, like how that breaks down. Like if you ask someone to spend $130 a month on Chica on Starbucks, they would look at you like you were crazy. Like if you had to go pay ahead of time for your drinks at Starbucks, people would have a heart attack. But when you do it little by little, it, it doesn't, you don't see it. It all adds up. It's that awesome compound effect that we talk about. When you do things little by little, you don't see the big investment. You don't see it all come together right away, but you ask them to take out their bill of, you know, Netflix or going out to eat or McDonald's run or whatever. And it really starts to add up. So you could even, you know, have that price objection. You break it down to $4 and 30 cents a day and say, you know, is there something that you're spending four dollars and thirty cents on a day that you could go without this month? And and I really like I've never asked that because I again finance are tricky. But as I'm saying that, it's really not intrusive. I think it's just breaking it down and and helping them see that like this is it's just an investment up front. And sometimes that's really hard for people to do. Um so meet them where they're at, always offer the next option. Hey, you know what, if this is not working for you right now would the base kit work? We'll get you in there. We'll get you started with this. We'll get you comfortable and let's take that first step. And I think sometimes there's power in that of getting them in your community, in your arms and in your trust circle, um, meet them where they're at, ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask why, um, in a respectful way and something that you're comfortable with. And then always ask if you can follow up. Um, and I know there were a few people that were like, no, I'm not interested right now. Um, how do you respond? And I, if I'm asking them and they say they're not interested right now, I'm like, oh, that's totally fine. I just wanted to make sure you knew that this is something I host every month. Um, but totally understand that now is not a good time. If they reach out to me and now they're saying, no, I'm not interested. I always ask why, like, is this not, does this program not sound like a good fit for you? Um, you know, are, is it, 
is it something I said? Is it something about the program? You know, and just ask that question because they did come to me. So something about what I communicated to them kind of turned them off. So, um, you know, ask that. Like, well, what changed? What did, you know, how can I help? I'm always learning um, how to communicate my business and my programs better. Like, is there something I'm missing? So. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can do a free group. Absolutely. I was actually just thinking that I haven't done a free group in a long time. Um, they are beneficial, I think. Um, especially if you can kind of do them to go with the theme of what's going on. Like I saw a lot of sugar ones starting next week. So um, that might be big and spring break is coming up. So you could do something for the booty or the abs or um, maybe even tie in a skinny cocktail recipe or something with that. Yeah. Like Meg said, if you feel like you want to do something, fly with it and go with it. Um, something that I started when I was pregnant with Hayden, um, she's two, is a, a free group. It's called Bumps and Beyond. It's a hundred percent support women or support group for women who basically have kids two years or younger. If you don't know, I have a two year old and 10 month old. Um, so anyone in between that um, has joined this group. So when I meet new moms, if they're not ready for fitness, I just invite them to that Bumps and Beyond group just to provide them with a community of support. So if there's, I know Meg, when she was going through all her thyroid stuff, she also had just that group to ask questions, have support, and just feel connected with people who are going through what you're going through. So if there's, um, you know, a niche that you are a part of that could use a support group or just a place to feel loved, um, that's been really great because I don't have to do anything. <laughs> it kind of really runs itself. There's like 800 women in there now, but it's super fun. It's super fun. So any questions in a little bit? Does that help? Is that helpful? Like, we want you guys to hit Success Club because, again, I think it's a huge benchmark for our business, but we can help people in so many ways, and that is still successful as a coach. Like, Meg does the PV shoutouts every week, and my stuff is not new challenge packs every week, you guys. My stuff is helping my clients where they're at, and that might be Beach Bars Clean Week. That might be energize, recover, a three-day refresh, an ultimate reset. Um, it's just plugging them in with different programs and products that they need to help on their journey right now. And I think that is, like, I'd rather have consistent volume every week helping people than have Success Club 30 on the board every month. So. I agree. And like you said, you're meeting them where they're at. And not everyone is going to be able to drink Shakeology. You know, some people have health issues so they can't drink Shakeology. And being a good health coach, we're not going to be like, sorry, you can't join my group because you have health issues and you can't drink this product, right? Like, who does that? Um, that's more like business minded, like in the wrong way, right? So if you're in this for the right reasons of helping people, then like Britt said, you're going to meet them where they're at. And the other side of that with what Britt said is that you know, when you get them plugged into the community of other people who have invested in the Shapeology or have invest, invested in Beach Body on Demand, and maybe they just got the base kit of two we mindset, they're going to be seeing what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. And they're like, Oh, wait, I want to do that too. And then it kind of, you know, the group kind of helps you upgrade them um, just from them being a part of that community. And if you guys look at my PV shout outs, Britt's like, blows everyone out of the water every single week. And I'm like, Britt, are these all new people? No, it's because she's keeping her customers plugged in and engaged and growing with them. And that's a good coach. You know, that's a very, very good coach. So Britt, awesome tips. Does anyone have any questions? I will say, Meg, you said a, a quick point, like they can upgrade to BOD. You guys, I had so many people do the base kit. And then when T20 came out, it was a perfect transition for them who started on 2B Mindset and spent the last 30 to 60 days with me focusing on nutrition to then add in the Transform 20 BOD pack um, and start with 20 minutes a day. So that is like, they see you, they're connected with you. They see you posting every day. They're, they're not just seeing your posts on social media. They're seeing the nitty gritty and they still want to go on that journey with you. 
So number one, like don't ever discount that, like start them where they're at and get them plugged in that community. But number two, that's where your job as a coach, I'm not loving Transform 20. I'm going to be honest, but I committed to it. So I'm doing it. Um, but because I did it, I was able to help so many people get started with that program. And so you might not be crazy about the next program that comes, but someone in your group may be someone who is in your niche, who's watching you, who's, you know, following you might be excited about that program. And there's, that's huge, huge. So when you get them started on a base kit, sometimes people get excited about that next program and now they're in a group with other people and they're all doing that program. And then that fear of missing out kicks yeah. in and they want to come do that program with you too. Exactly. I love that, Britt. These were awesome. And even like, I was like, oh my gosh, like I need to stop letting these people slip through the cracks, right? Because they came to you for a reason, right? They're interested. And sometimes, you know, I never push the financial side of it either because I'm like, Britt, you're totally my coach. I would have been like, if someone pushed something towards me and I couldn't afford it, I'd like see a block immediately, you know, like just because I'm not a pushy person at all and I don't want someone to push me. So, you know, listen to your personality. Um, and the kind of people you attract, maybe you have some people who you can push a little bit and that's okay. Uh, so make sure that you're following your personality, but guys, any other questions before we close up? Yes, no, <laughs> it's like always so awkward, so silent. Um, well guys, thank you so much for hopping on. I will put the 